Okay, I'm here with Rick Black of uh, Zebra Imaging, and he's going to talk about um, some of the projects they've been working on in um, uh, 3D holograms. Okay, what we're going to talk about today is the three stages of visualization after the uh, caveman stopped digging in the dirt. So, what I'm going to show you is the same site in three different styles. First is going to be the 2D map, and to put everything in perspective, uh, where I'm pointing now is the Boston Public Library. That is the finish line for the Boston Marathon. It's very high quality information, but if you have ten people looking at a map, six people will understand it, and three people can interpret it out of that. So the next stage is to use a high resolution image. Same concept. You need to get the visual information into the brain so you can translate it. Where I'm pointing now is the, uh, the Boston Library and the finish line. It's a high resolution image, but it still leaves a lot of information out because all the buildings are flat and there's no such thing as a flat city. What we've done is we've taken the exact same data that we used to create this picture and we, used, uh, we created a hologram from it. So now, you get a natural view of the world. No 3D glasses are used, and it's a full 100 and, I'm sorry, it's full 360 degrees uh, viewing. So you could actually walk around the entire hologram and see all the sides of the building. And let me spin this back around for you. And now you've been able to take a lot of the training requirements out. So you don't have to learn how to read the map, but you do need to learn uh, how to visualize your natural environment. And we give that to you.